If you have been following us, then you know that we travel all over the world recording sounds and each time we film a new intro, we are usually in a new apartment or hotel room. Right now we are in Tbilisi in Georgia and we booked this hotel room and it's not the biggest, it's about 200 square feet, but because of the size, it can be quite tight, but it doesn't mean that sound recording isn't possible. Before we get into the video, feel free to follow us on our Instagram account for more reels, behind the scenes and quick tutorials that you won't find here on our YouTube channel. Now, what is this video about? I wanna show you what sounds I can record here in this hotel room for an upcoming sound library for my 60 days 60 sound libraries challenge. Now, if you're wondering why would I do that? Why would I release 60 sound libraries in 60 days? That's because last year, while we're living in La Réunion under lockdown, I promised the sound community that I would upload a sound library every single day until this lockdown was lifted. I never missed a single day and I also realized until today that Bandcamp, for example, never stopped waiving the revenue share to support creators. And that's something I want to do as well. And that's why many of these sound libraries that I release are free. So make sure that you follow us on Bandcamp if you don't want to miss one of these sound libraries. But now let's get started recording sounds here in our hotel room. So one of the first sounds I want to record is the curtain. Just listen to the curtain alone. And you can do this fast, you can do this slow, but what is behind the curtain is also something that really excites me. And these are just tons of possibilities, right? Honestly, behind the curtain, this is already a treasure drove. We have fridge, we can open and close. We have a kettle that we can start, glasses, cups here, all kinds of sound effects that we can find. We have hangers and then we also have a safe. And to be honest, where can you find safes? Probably most of the time in hotels, if you don't have your own safe. But if you have the chance going to different hotels, make sure that you record the safes. But I wanna talk a little bit more about the safe and why I don't record everything on it. So I was just about to put the contact microphone on the safe to record this open and closing, but there's a lot of interference here. And yes, the AKG is one of these contact microphones that is not shielded enough. So you have a lot of interference within the recordings. So I can't really record it because I wanna record a clean sound. And here with the Audio-Technica microphones, I don't have these problems. Also, if you have a mono microphone, just any kind of shotgun microphones, or you use any kind of handy recorders, you can use this to record these sound effects. But now listen to the door, and then I also wanna tell you what I don't include in this sound library if I record these saves. So let's listen to it. So you can really hear the mechanical sounds, the squeaking and this open and closing. These are great. These are sounds I would include in the sound library, but not when I hit the button and create this digital sound, this beep, beep, beep. If I wanna include this, then I would create my own sounds using Vital, for example, and electromagnetic field sound effects. Now, if you're wondering why wouldn't I just include these sounds within the sound library, that's because I don't have these digital sounds created. So I personally wouldn't feel comfortable with it, having them in my library. So what I did is I took out the battery and now the sound designer can decide what beep they would like to use for that. Now let's talk about the fridge and I would record the door in different intensities. And this is a nice door, it creates this really nice sound and now you can hear the humming starts. So you can do this without the humming just when you turn it off. But I also would use one of my handheld recorders and then I put it in here and then I record the fridge room tone. Why not? If I go to hotel rooms, oftentimes the phones are always different. Sometimes they're old phones or newer and more modern phones. This is like in between, I would say. So I make sure that I record the picking up and hanging up the phone sound effect as well. Now, before I head over to a different part of the room, here is actually a little bit more. So we can have these switches. Then we have this. 
and we have a drawer. You see, there's a lot of sounds just in this area that we can record. One of the first things you probably notice is that my voice is different here in the bathroom than outside in the living room or bedroom. And what I do is I have a balloon, so I'm going to record an impulse response here in the bathroom so that the sound engineer later could recreate a scene that plays in the bathroom. So what else can we record here? We have the door. And this is a glass door, so not every bathroom has a glass door, so that's great. Then we have toilet flush, we have a toilet seat that we can open and close. Then of course, we can wash our hands. You can find in hotels are these toiletries, so you can just, you know, screw this on and off. You can open and close. These are all cool sound effects that you can find in hotels to record. So make sure that if you go to a hotel room that you record all these sounds before you get comfortable because then everything is just in an original in a nice condition. One thing that I always do is I record myself taking a shower and later on I will release a shower sound library from so many different hotel rooms from all over the world so stay tuned for that. One of the most important sounds that I never forget to record is room tone. I record room tone in the bathroom and here in our living space in the day and in the night time because they're always different and not only this I also record the ambience from our window and I just want you to listen to the difference. First off listen to the rain sound that I've recorded last night during the curfew. So you can really hear there's like no traffic, it's just this beautiful rain sound. And now we have daytime, just listen to this really quick. It's great isolation. You can really hear like the city rumble in the distance. It's a different sound because it's a different time. As you can see, there are so many things that I can record in such a small space. And if I have the time, I could step out of the room and record even more sounds. For example, the elevators, maybe footsteps, rolling around with the suitcase. So there's a lot of possibilities to create a sound library. So make sure if you go to a hotel room that you always bring your recording equipment with you. If you enjoyed this video, then you are right here on this channel because that's what Libby and I love doing, showing you how we create these sound libraries that we record all over the world. So feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave us a comment down below and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Thank you.